Hi friends, my name is Erin. Welcome to my channel. This is an amazing place to come if you're looking to get inspired. I talk a lot about creativity, herbalism for beginners, decor, and just all around how to make your life a more inspired, creative place. Today we're talking about my five tips for getting inspired. So before I get into these five things, you might be asking yourself, who is this person and why is she qualified to talk to me about being inspired? And so one of the things I wanna share with you is that I am an artist and a painter. I've been painting for, well, since I was a little girl. And I've created so many paintings now, I don't even know, I can't even count. So for me, creativity and being inspired is a daily part of my life. It is something that my art practice is an integrated part of my life. I love creating art. So that's why I believe I'm qualified to share with you about how to get inspired. For the five things that you can do to get inspired, I'd love to start with number one. And number one is create a space for yourself to be inspired in. So you can kind of see in the background, but this is my creative space. I love natural materials. I love bottles. I love rainbows. I love plants. And I love to create different magical potions and herbal body oils and lots of different things. So I know what inspires me in terms of the space that I like to be in. I like to be surrounded by the things that I really love and inspire me. And so I have this space that I've created here. Now, I do wanna say that if you have limited space, I get it. I actually share this office with my husband. He is on the other side of the room, which you cannot see right now, but I wanna share that because I understand what it's like to feel like maybe you don't have all of the space that you would like in order to create a creative space for yourself. So I wanna share that if that's the case, that that's okay that you can simply create a space for the day or for a couple hours that feels good for you to be inspired and to create within. For me, I like to be surrounded with things that make me feel good, that remind me of being a child, that light me up. So maybe for you, you like to be in a completely blank space when you create and that's okay too. So create that space for yourself. It can be a space that's always around you, like, you know, vibing up your office space or your workspace, or it can be just a space for the afternoon or a couple of hours, but light a candle, bring out some crystals, just set the ambiance for yourself for that creative energy to come through. So the second tip I have for you on how to get inspired is to tap into what did you like to do when you were a kid? Now, inspiration really, I feel like, is just so abundant in us when we are children. We know what we love and we haven't been told that it's wrong or shamed out of doing it. And so I invite you to make a list, if you need to, of the things that you loved to do when you were a kid and find one of those things that you can do now. Maybe it's rollerblading, maybe it is coloring in a coloring book, maybe it's building a fort in your living room. For me, I used to love to get into a bubble bath and bring lots of little bottles and fill the bottles with water and pour them out, pretend like I was making potions. Whatever it is, maybe it's going to the beach and splashing in the waves, but I promise you that tapping into your inner child, tapping into the little version of you that was so pure and joyful and tapped into that flow of inspiration all the time, doing something that he or she would have loved to do is a really beautiful way to bring in the inspiration. Okay, so my third tip for getting inspired is to make a list of all of the things that you've been wanting to do or try but you haven't made time for yet. I truly believe that when you have a desire to go and do something, that that is a road leading you to inspiration, creativity, and joy. So if there's something that you've been wanting to do or try or play with but you haven't yet, but and you're wanting to get inspired, now is the time. Set aside an hour or two or whatever it is to go and play and learn something new and have some fun. Follow that inner voice inside that's pointing you in the direction of your highest inspiration. Okay, so tip number four is to get yourself into a new environment. So for those of us especially that work from home or if you're just in your space a lot, 
it can be hard to be inspired when we're just in the same environment all the time. So what I like to do and what I like to suggest to you is to find new environments to work, to play, or to create in. So maybe that's a coffee shop or a new restaurant that you haven't tried yet, or maybe it's meeting up with a friend for a co-working date at their house or at the beach or at the park or whatever that looks like. Finding another environment to be in so that your brain changes a little bit and that opens the space for creative energy and new ideas to flow through. So tip number five is to go take yourself out on an artist date. One of the books that I recommend on this topic actually on creativity and inspiration is The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. And one thing that she talks about is going on regular, what she calls an artist date. And so what that means is she talks about how creativity is basically like a well that needs to be filled. And when we keep trying to extract from a well that is not full, we're not gonna be inspired. We're not gonna have creative ideas. It's not gonna be flowing. So be sure that you are filling your creative well. And one way to do that is to take your artist self or your inspired self out on a date. So maybe that's to a coffee shop or maybe that's to go look at some art or maybe that's to go to a new restaurant or to go explore something or look at new art. It's like when we go out and we see things that inspire us, that fills up our own inspiration and creativity. So take yourself out on an artist date and go fill up your creative well. Thank you so much for being here and for watching this video. Thank you for being someone who is looking to be more inspired in their lives. I really believe that this world will be a better place when more people care about being inspired and being creative and bringing that inspiration forward to not only enjoy within themselves, but share with others. And that's what I believe that you're doing when you're inspired. You get to feel and emanate that energy and then others get to receive it when they're around you. So thank you for being someone who would actually want a video like this, who would watch a video like this. I see you, I honor you, I appreciate you for being one of those people out in the world. If you'd like to come say hello, I am on Instagram at Erin with two N's. I would love to connect with you. Please leave a comment below and let me know which of these things that you're gonna try or if there's something else that you like to try to get inspired and to get the creative juices flowing. I would love to hear from you and connect. In the meantime, you can check out one of my home herbalism playlist or my recipes playlist to also just get creating, which is another way to continue to get inspired. It's just get your hands in there, get your hands dirty, start making things, start creating. And I just find when I get out of my head and into my hands and into the actual creating, that's when the channel opens. You have to show up for the muse. You got to show up. You got to pick up the pencil, the hammer, the paintbrush, whatever it is. It's you making space for that inspiration to come through. So whatever you do is what will work. Make space for the inspiration and the creative muse to flow through you and I guarantee you she will. So I look forward to seeing what you create and what inspired ideas flow through you. If you want to get to know me more, I've started making uh, weekly vlog videos. So you can check out my vlog playlist as well. Looking forward to seeing you next week for a new video. Lots of love. Mwah!